All right guys, welcome back. So if you like to customize your guns, personalize them, or even just change the way that they look as far as color goes or anything like that, then you are wrong, according to the internet. So that is what I wanna talk about today. I wanna to share my opinions on this and then hear what you guys have to say about it as well. But I guess this video sort of came about because of some comments that I have been getting since pretty much the video was uploaded. But, uh, but a video I put out, I think I titled it The Best Decision I Ever Made. And it was when I took my 10 and a half inch Spikes AR pistol and uh, changed the receiver set out to the Spikes Flat Dark Earth receiver set just to give it a different look. And normally when I do a two-tone build like that BCM right up there. Uh, the gun itself is black and then I put FDE furniture on it, but I always liked the way it looked the opposite way with the receiver set, FDE, and the, and the furniture black, and I always wanted to do it. Always really liked the way that it looked. And uh, one day I walked into my local gun shop, Shots and Shells, and um, sure enough, right there in the counter, they had one of them receiver sets sitting there, and I was like, yep, that's going home with me. Took it home and uh, did the project, switched everything around, and then made a video sharing it with you guys, and uh, just showing you guys and talking about how much I liked it, all that stuff. But obviously, some people thought it was stupid, they don't think you should do that, and uh, the way guns look shouldn't matter, all that different type of stuff. And like I said, pretty much since, uh, since day one, the video got posted, uh, a comment from time to time, uh, you know, people telling me how stupid they think it is. Now, a majority of the comments were positive and you guys liked it as well, but, but like I said, every now and then you get one pop-up that just thinks it's stupid. And I meant to do this video uh, a while back and kind of forgot about it and then got another comment just the other day and I'll leave that comment right here so you guys can see it and know what I'm talking about. But, uh, but again, somebody thinking that it is stupid and you shouldn't do it, all that stuff. So it kind of sparked the idea to get this video done and I want to share my opinions on it and of course get you guys' opinions as well. But, uh, but obviously there are two sides to this. Some people who just buy the guns for uh, purely defensive use, never do anything to them, they don't need anything done to them, you're just going to use it for a home defense or carry gun or whatever, and, uh, and that's perfectly fine. But then you got the guys over here that, uh, that have those guns for that as well, but they also like to, to personalize them, make them more their own, or they have, uh, you know, their hobby is to do that or whatever. So there's two different sides and neither side is right or wrong. So I don't understand why all the hate when somebody does something different than what you like, but it is what it is. And uh, there's always gonna be hateful comments. And by all means, if you have a hateful comment, leave it down below, good or bad. Uh, it does not matter. <laughs> The hateful comments, trust me, do not hurt my feelings. And when they get really nasty and people get really upset, it just uh, it just gives me a laugh. So by all means, whatever comment you want to leave on any of my videos, always leave it, and uh, I'll read all of them that I can. Uh, enjoy all of them, definitely. But like I was saying, there's two sides, and neither side is right or wrong, really. If you just want to buy a gun purely for a carry gun or purely for home defense, you're never going to mess with it and, and all that. Then by all means, do it. I mean. You're, you're buying a gun, you're, you're wanting to protect yourself and your family, that is 100% okay in my book. But if you're on this side and you want to customize your guns, make them look a different way or perform a different way, if you want sights and triggers and colors or whatever, then I am 100% for that as well. And that's the side that I lean towards uh, also. Now, I guess the only time I could see this being a problem is if you customize it so much, if you go so far to make the gun unreliable, then yes, that's gonna be an issue. You went too far and uh, you need to tone it back a little bit, unless it's just a range gun. If it's, if it's a gun that's never gonna be in a rotation to carry, a rotation for home defense or anything like that, if you have separate guns for that and you just wanna deck this one all out and uh, if, it gets, if it's unreliable, it doesn't matter, then of course that's okay. If it's just a fun gun, a fun range gun for you, then do whatever you want with it. But if it does have a chance to be carried, if it does have a chance to end up in that rotation for a home defense gun or whatever, then always make sure it's reliable. Don't go too far with it. But again, just changing colors or sights and stuff like that is, is, is not going to make the gun unreliable. And it's just going to, to uh, enhance it for you or just make it more personal for you. And like with my guns, I don't know if I've got a gun that I didn't do at least one thing to, uh, whether it's just sights on a pistol or a different color on a rifle like you see here or whatever it is. But but that's where my 
my passion comes in. My hobby is not only do I have my guns for the home defense and, and, and self-preservation, but it's also a hobby of mine and I enjoy uh, building ARs, I enjoy working on pistols, I enjoy I enjoy doing all of that. So that's that's what I like to do. But uh, but if it's a gun that I know is going to be used in some type of serious situation, I always make sure if I do anything to it that um, uh, you know it's going to be reliable. Take it to the range, blast a whole bunch of rounds through it. Make sure what you did to it is still going to be reliable, and the gun is going to function. But uh, but anyhow, guys, I guess that's my opinion on uh, on the subject. I would love to hear what you guys have to say about it. Are you on the side that just buys them and don't care what they look like? Are you on the side that likes to make them more your own, personalize them a little bit? Definitely let me know down below. And uh, oh, I guess on a side note that uh, I still have all these hateful comments coming in, and I actually don't even have that AR pistol anymore. Anyhow, uh, I traded that off. Well, when I got that Sig Legion, that's how I got the Legion. I ended up trading that pistol in for the Legion. So I guess all these people leaving them hateful comments is just kind of funny because I don't even have it anymore. Uh, but yeah, but anyhow, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, if you have any questions or comments about this video or anything else you see here on the channel, ask those in the comment section below and I'll do my best to get back with you. And before you take off, make sure you do check the description box. I got links to channel sponsors, social media, pretty much anybody who's ever helped out the channel will be linked down below. So always check that out before you take off. And as always, I appreciate each and every one of you guys watching and we'll catch you in the next one.